Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and, and here with my first LEGO Knight's Kingdom review, or to a lot of you would say, Knight's Kingdom 2 review. And this first one is on the Grand Tournament. Well, I'll be reviewing a handful of these for the next few Throwback Thursdays, and, and why you ask? Well, I'll explain that in a second. So let's start out with the Grand Tournament, of course, from 2004, of course. So on the front of the book, man, you will see Lego Logo, Knights Kingdom logo, and then picture of the set that there is, and then it says three game cards included, and a banner with the figs there, and recommended ages is seven and up. Set number 8779 has says Slammer for the feature of it. And then for the front page of which you get the well well drawn out map of Morcia. And then uh and on the back of which is the final building step of it and this little comic strip of the story of it. If you wanna look at any of this, pause the video. And then the old style win on the online survey. And on the back are the construction billable figure sets of it, of which which I will of which I'll be reviewing for future throwback Thursdays. Not right now, but eventually also. So but also just so for now we'll just do a few of the system sets and I'll do those in the future, yeah. Then also included is this little rules sheet, or this little sheet that, or fold out sheet, which explains how to play the card game. And so now, if you want to read any of this, pause the video. Other side, same thing, but in other languages. And also pause and read if you want to. And also included, let's get three of these uh, cards that, and why there's the hole in them well since of course on the billable figure sets use them as the shields of course and of course each on each one of them you get the numbers that are the stats and then other side of which you get everything else And if you want to read any of this, pause the, just pause the video. So, anyways. So now on to the three mini picks included in this set. As we of which have 
uh, the main antagonist, Vladik, of course. And also we get one of the knights, uh, Jaco, and then the rightful ruler, King Matthias, of course. Well, for this 2004 range, at least see. Yeah, that just like most knight sets, or the helmets of which are, of course, uh, hang on, where you get the classic um, a helmet piece of which, and of course, a visor piece that goes over it, like most of the knights' figs do. But in this one's case, they're all very unique. And, and of course, carried on into 2016 Nexo Knights, of course. And then also Orwell. And of course, Vladik does have interesting sword piece in red, of course. And also Jayco, same but in darkish gold, of course. And the shield pieces, kind of the same but with some unique prints to them. And these were the only sets that ever used that. And then King Matthias, which some good torso print with the lion print on there, which stuck around for a long time, and also the classic crown piece for that in metallic gold, kind of nice. And as I take off there, or like head accessories. Then as you can see, that well the armor piece of which kind of the same as also the same as most knights figures of which but in different colors and different prints and that. then as you have the, the each of which has some unique face printings which as with Vladik and Jaco here of which do have some hair prints to them which the other knights also did and although they were still keeping up that trend then no back torso print or double side faces on any of them since they're older figures. But also these in this set in particular, not the only weapons that the knights use, of course. But also the visor pieces, looking just about similar to the construction set versions had. First up for the build. Get this little weapon podium. Oh, wait. As you can see, it has four corner jagged slopes there, and also a few clip bricks that are there with a couple of the regular spears and the classic lances in both black and white, of course, and a top part slope. But just quite basic and simple, but of course you can swap these lances for the swords. Oh, actually one of these is a battle axe rather than a spear, of course. And that is it with this one. And also what you get are these two little uh, black podiums. Which just basic, which are just a 4x4 plate and a, a jagged slope there, and also long 2 by and also a 2x4x3 by by brick there, and a jumper, and a simple 1x2x3 by by brick, and some different things, and of course a couple of that, and a side brick to that, and also flag pieces, and then ending up with hinge rods and also, a pair of flags, one in blue and one in dark red. And from the front part, you get uh, what's supposed to be the symbols of each of their uh, powers, or each side that they are. But also, odd thing is that these cardboard pieces of which were also used as shields in the construction sets as well. But odd thing is that to get it to work is get this clear dish piece out to there, and they're on their own. And it's been also you can kind of swap it out with, or swap this out with the other knight's shields if you want. But of course, in the 
uh, following years, they went over to actual solid plastic pieces for that, for that, for the shields, of course, but yeah. Next to which are, or is one of the launchers, which, as you can see, that the launcher itself, for which, a quite basic build with the long slopes and also a couple of tiles in there. And of course, that one little uh, pinhole or act pinhole in there is for part of the feature of it. And of course, a couple of tan bricks there and. Also, in the from the top is the rounded corner plate, so which and a few tiles on there, but and it's not securely in there. Well, the reason is for the feet, which instead of actual regular horses, it's just these little launcher things with the like round bricks for the wheels and a couple jagged slopes on there. And then the course has a clip piece going off into the old style horse covering, or horse head covering, I should say. And of course, four studs there to sit your mini fig onto a course. Well, also let them make sure they are holding a lance on that. Of course, so with this. Make sure the pinhole connects to that axle rod hole. And for the main feature of which is, uh, since it's like that, just slam down it hard and let it launch out like so. Although I think this must have gave the idea for the Chima speed orders or something. But so, but otherwise this. And of course, came from the Speed Ores Exalix line, but unfortunately, as you just saw, they, they kind of pop off a bit if you don't slam down on it hard enough. But otherwise, oh, sorry. kind of feature that was but if this were made nowadays I think this would probably have some more ah, some little better builds to it but well yeah see quite fun it is for them and on to the other uh, the, uh, slam racer or whatever see kind of the same build but Instead of some light blue, it's dark red to, of course, match with that of Vladek. And then the other horse, the witch, which has some dark red and mostly black, also to fit that of Vladek. But although you can probably make uh, your others if you want. So, how good do you think this is? There. At least that one also did quite well. But for letting them joust at each other, a good fun feature. And so now on to the main build of which is this little stand podium, which as you can see this has a pair of long jagged slopes and also that large castle centerpiece like most classic castle sets tend to have and got cylinder pieces with flames on them of course. And if you look on the inside, it's just completely vacant of course. And of course common thing factors rather than not filling up the back part of course. 
and as for this upper section which as you can see it does have these rotating bricks that show the points of who wins of course and so it's quite nice as well obviously and also in the center part is of course the there's the King Matthias's throne, of course, but lifted up, and a few classic golden coins, obviously, which kind of reminiscent of older Harry Potter sets, of course. And it does fit well. And also, do you get some of them curved other slopes here, going right up to an archway, and then to the classic space uh, blaster pieces, but in probably in brown probably to represent logs used to hold these flags things on and of course nicely printed flags of course and above or banners of course and also again the flag pieces in blue and dark red and also for shading from the king of which is this are a couple of slopes of course and yeah Else to say, not much, but yeah. And so now, let me get the. Uh, so for final verdict on this one. So for my overall verdict, I think this is which a pretty or quite fun cool set for 2004 standards and doesn't hold up a little bit, but and of course the slam jousting feature, quite fun, uh, obviously. And although I think another fig, I think one or two other figs also could have been included, but maybe that would have bumped the price up a little bit, but although I think... Uh, Dinjin also could have been here, but maybe that's just me. But how this one actually turned out, I can kind of forgive how it is. And, but also shows a bit of something that we kind of missed, or that we barely get much is uh, smallish, cheapish sets with plenty to offer. This, although this must have been like thirty, forty dollars at the time, and plenty good amount for the price of which, but yeah. Yes, but even though a lot of the pieces may be kind of largish ones, but at least that's workable, but yeah. And so now if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I say definitely pick it up. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.